Know you've been a good friend And that's in the thick and thin And I know it's never gonna end Cause you've been a good friend Are we doing laundry? Doing laundry What are we doing? Hey are you mad at me? Hey, look at me. You mad at me? Look at me. We doing laundry? You like to sit on my laundry in the basket? Okay, oh, yeah, we're in Starve Rock, Illinois. Actually, it's Utica. And um, we're just going through the town. We picked up some bait for Rocco to go fishing. And we got, oops, that's my seatbelt. We still got a mile, I think, to go. And I didn't realize I'm gonna have to go over a bridge. So my grandkids don't realize that I'm not a bridge person. I don't really care for bridges. I knew that you were not a bridge person. Oh, did you remember I that? don't remember that. Grandma's Isn't a heights thing? Yeah, it's a heights thing. Grandma's afraid, of, not afraid, but she has a fear of heights. and bridge certain bridges that make noises and Danny's afraid of bridges too so hold on to Danny because I don't want her jumping up in my lap if this bridge makes noise okay get, get her, let's have her if it goes there. no leave her if no. it goes nah, 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 like that she'll get freaked out but it looks like it's not going to well, this isn't a bad bridge but that's not too bad oh there's a big barge down there this isn't a bad bridge but it's only a two laner Looks like they're they're building another laner, another part of that bridge next to us. Uh, I wonder if this bridge opens up. It's not too bad. A little glare on the window, but we're here. We're here. You cannot cut plants or remove them or anything it's prohibited and you leave things the way you found it okay the only thing you take with you is memories and pictures remember that right okay no lie nothing nothing like there's the dump where I dump the pooper dump and the gates actually lock at 10 o'clock at night oh yeah so people cannot get in you can get out but you can't get in so what happens if you get out then you can't get in? Yeah, you can't. Well, unless you go in through the out. I'm sure people do that, but... Yeah. Okay, we're early, so we're going to hope that they're going to let us go in. I have to turn what this off to get like, to my reservation. Hi, so we are at the Starved Rock State Park. Starved Rock is a, a sightseeing location. Uh, people hike up to the rock but one of uh, we're at the campground here we got a great spot the only neighbor is this camper you're looking at right now that's actually on the same piece of land that we're on but there's a tenter in the in the distance there's a nice little swing set right there for my granddaughter and my grandson but this whole piece of land here there's nobody on it except for us at this one corner and then there's our picnic table and here's our camp See, and so Stella, we just got Danny to get, uh, is, we got her little fence up. And so she's just figured out how to take, get a grip on this ball. And she feels really good about herself that she can do that. So one of my viewers asked me about my volcano. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have hamburgers. And this particular pit and grill has this pretty cool little, um, thing here that just kind of turns over in there instead of flipping over and backward so we're going to use that to hold the volcano we're just going to do charcoal today but my uh, viewer wanted to know um, how I like the volcano and I love it because you know I open the vent I got the charcoal in there I could pick it up with this it's got the legs and I could also use gas if I want or uh, I have a wood pit here for a fire but if I wanted to I could burn wood in here also, my Dutch oven will fit right inside here, and I could still put the coals around the top of it. And I do also have a tripod that I can hang my Dutch oven from 
to keep the food in my uh, Dutch oven warm over the charcoals. So we're gonna make some hamburgers and I'll be back. Okay, so we're starting the coals. And there's a little port like on each side, one on this side here that you can stick your uh, fire stick or lighter through. And then there's another port on the other side here where you can stick your lighter through to keep it light lit. And I make potatoes and sweep a little sweet potato, little potatoes and sweet potato, little potatoes for little people. It's very yum. Hamburgers. This is Danny's hamburger. Sweet potato, roasted potatoes. Yum, 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 yum. Hamburger. Yum, 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 yum. Cheeseburger. How are they good? They're delicious. Thanks. Yeah. Good, Stella? Yeah. Subscribe to Rock and Review. So I bought this pet fence for Danny. Everything I looked at was like $1,000. I was like, oh my goodness. But this one is, um, I bought it at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. It was on sale. It was normally like $61. And now it is, it went on sale for $49. But I had to buy two of, two boxes. And this way I could extend it bigger than a small act octagon. But um, so I wanted to make sure I had it behind so Danny couldn't get underneath the trailer, you know, but, and still was enclosed. She's doing fine and she could be off the leash. I want to get her used to being off the leash and staying, but um, I like it so far, but I think I need one more. So I'm going to buy one more. It was on sale for $49 at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Uh, it'll probably be $61 now, but anything for my little girl. <laughs> I want to be able to travel and not have her, you know, have to be on time. So, my grandson Rocco made an awesome fire tonight. Okay, these roads are so choppy and there's trees down and there is a guardrail here but wow look at how chopped up this road is no wonder you know so are we going the right way to the waterfall yeah is it how, how far is it 15 minutes oh it's that long of a walk Okay. Thank you. Let's go down, cross the bridge, and turn right. Okay, cool. You can't miss it. Thank you. Okay, so it's about 15 minutes. It's really, to me, it's fine, but I just worry about the kids having to go that long. We're in flip-flops. We weren't really planning on... Um, There's a bee next to it. Come on. No, you're not listening. That's what it is. That's my granddaughter. <laughs> it's so cold. 
They're standing underneath the waterfall. Smile. <laughs> Look through the waterfall. Okay, so we're walking back from the waterfall and it's all uphill from here. And we, we're down to a half a bottle of water. And my granddaughter said she wants to wash her feet. I said, don't waste that water. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.